Ever wondered how tobacco smoking affects your lungs and respiratory system? Well, it's a journey that begins with a single puff, and it's not a pleasant one. When that first puff of smoke enters your mouth, it's already beginning to do damage. The hot combustion products from the burning tobacco cause immediate harm to your mouth and throat, even before the smoke reaches your lungs. These products include harmful chemicals like tar, carbon monoxide, and nicotine. As the smoke continues its journey down your throat, it enters your bronchial tubes. These tubes, which are usually clean and clear, start to get coated with the tar from the smoke. This tar not only colors your bronchial tubes a nasty shade of black, but also makes it harder for you to breathe. Next, the smoke reaches your lungs. Here, it meets the alveoli, small air sacs that are crucial for the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide in your body. But the chemicals in the smoke cause these sacs to become irritated and inflamed, reducing their effectiveness. Over time, this inflammation can lead to chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD, a condition that makes it increasingly difficult to breathe. Meanwhile, the carbon monoxide from the smoke is also causing problems. This gas binds with the hemoglobin in your red blood cells, reducing their ability to carry oxygen. This means that your body, and particularly your heart and muscles, aren't getting the oxygen they need to function properly. But it doesn't stop there. The nicotine in the smoke is also wreaking havoc. This addictive substance causes the release of dopamine in your brain, making you feel good and leading to a craving for more cigarettes. However, over time, it also leads to a decrease in the number of nicotine receptors in your brain, meaning you need to smoke more to get the same effect. So, to summarize, the journey of smoke through your respiratory system is a destructive one. It starts with immediate damage to your mouth and throat, then coats your bronchial tubes with tar, inflames your alveoli, reduces the oxygen-carrying capacity of your red blood cells, and leads to addiction through the action of nicotine. Over time, this can lead to serious health conditions like COPD and heart disease. But remember, it's never too late to quit. By giving up smoking, you can start to reverse some of this damage and reduce your risk of these serious health conditions. It's not easy, but it's definitely worth it. So, the next time you think about lighting up a cigarette, remember the journey that smoke takes through your body and think about whether it's a journey you really want to take.